Hey everybody, this is your real estate mate. Welcome back to the channel. We've got beautiful Hanan here from <laughs> Beyond. We're looking at Saria project in Maritime City, which is one of the last island lots in Dubai. It's a gorgeous project. I haven't been close enough to it to give you the full briefing for myself. That's why I invited the expert Hanan. Um, yeah, just go through a briefing for me like you would do at any stage just explain to me everything like I don't know anything about okay. this project because I actually, I, yeah, actually, you actually don't, don't. <laughs> I, I actually haven't been here okay basically uh, let's start from the beginning okay. um, we need to mention that Omniat was the first uh, developer to launch a project in Dubai Maritime City okay which the project is Anwa it's the only ready project in Dubai Maritime City right. now okay obviously and after that uh, we also launched Anwa Aria which is right next to it it's still off plan okay and um, is that sold out? No, no, we still have an agency. Uh, okay. uh, and after that, you have several developers who entered the market as well uh, in Dubai Maritime. I think like nine different You projects. have the Mark, you have the new, you have... We don't uh, have to mention them all, but I think it's like six other developers yeah. have yeah, entered. Yeah, yeah. You have numerous. Almost six. And uh, uh, Sorry to interrupt you, but what I've noticed is that most of them, or maybe all of them, are on... The first All of them line. are on the first line of the, line of the which is, island. Which is good. Yes. Just now, like this one. Yes. Now, there are several plots as well which are still available. So we're going to launch also several projects because uh, Omniad Group uh, acquired almost uh, 11 million square feet of GFA in Dubai Maritime City. Okay. So, wow. uh, yeah. So we have several projects uh, coming uh, So this is going to be uh, Omniad slash Beyond Island, basically. Exactly. Exactly. That's good. Um, so basically, our focus now as Beyond uh, is Dubai Maritime City. Okay. And the first project that we launched uh, in Beyond is uh, Saria. Yeah. So Saria is located on the entrance of the island. So this is Mina Rashid over, over mm -hmm. here, where we are now. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, Beyond is directly on the entrance. You have one building over here and then uh, right. Saria. And, uh, if you want to talk about the views of Saria, yeah. they are a little bit different than the previous projects which are Anwa and Anwa Aria because we have units from all the sides. For example, in Anwa and Anwa Aria, we have only front units. Okay. In Saria, we have units from the front, from the sides, and from the back. All right. But each unit in this uh, project has, um, has uh, something positive about it. For example, the back units, they have the sunset view from the back. And as you go higher, you will be able to see the sea as well from the back. Because Maritime City is an island. Okay. So you have water all around it. Yeah. So from here, if you go to the, to the low floors, you are uh, you have the view of the amenities, which is more than 30,000 square feet. Okay. And as you go higher, you will have a mix of both, the amenities and the sea from the back. From the sides, you will have the sea from the left, uh, marina and downtown skyline view from the from this side from okay. the right and the corner units and front units of course they have the full sea view with the marina all of that okay Lovely. so that's why i'm saying every single unit has a different view and is good for investment whether good you go for, for the front units back units low floors high floors all the prices are amazing for investment even yes. for end users if you're buying the three bedrooms in the front yeah. you're buying it for how much 4.2 million Okay. On the water line. Three beds. Three beds. Not bad for waterfront projects. Exactly. So if we Unobstructed view forever. 100%. So if you take the price per square foot, for example, in this building, it's starting less than 2,100. Yes. 2.6 million uh, is the starting price for the two beds, for example. I was looking at a project in Marina, and I mean, the starting price there was 2,800. And it yeah. doesn't have nearly no. enough amenities yeah, in the building, amenities. doesn't yeah. have sea view, exactly. nothing. Exactly, exactly. Wow. So this is still a developing area, mm. right? You don't have any developed project other than Anwa. So this is just going to go up? Exactly. Nice one. Okay, so here we're just talking about the views mainly. Okay. From, the, from all the angles. If you want to check the configuration, we can switch yeah, to let's, the other. Yeah, let's go to the bigger model and see okay. the entire building in a bit more detail. I love this because I like the style, like exactly, the greenery right? of the podium. Because usually, when you're driving past a podium of any building, it's just like steel cages, yes. and it's not nice yes. at all. Yes. That's and awesome. here we have a very nice product mix as well in the in the building. Okay. So let me start with the configuration. You have the ground plus four podium levels, okay. and on the podiums you have the duplexes. 
two bedrooms and three bedrooms. Duplexes. Yes, okay. eight units in total for uh, two bedrooms and four three bedrooms. So these are very good for end users and for investment as well because you have limited number of units in the building. 100%. And then we start with the first level of amenities, which where you have your gym, um, your indoor cinema, yoga studio on this floor, and the gym office is, floor. No? Is there an office floor? It's, you have a multi-purpose uh, okay. if you want. Love that. Um, and the gym is 3,000 around 3,300 square feet facing the water. That's a commercial gym size. Right. That's huge. And then you start with the uh, residential floors. From the second to the ninth floor, you have a certain. Uh, product mix on the floor so okay. not, not all the floors have the same floor plate in short we have one bedrooms from all the sides but currently we don't have anything so you have well, one bedrooms sold out but front facing side facing and back facing correct so from here you have side uh, side units from this side as you go higher above the ninth floor you have the two bedrooms which are on the sides okay there's one bedroom scattered scattered front around. and back and from the other side it's the same uh, two bedrooms, corner units from the second to the ninth floor also sold. Two bedrooms on this side and the opposite side are still available. Okay. The 01 series is the on one. On this side and that side? Yes, still 01 available. series is from here where you have your downtown skyline. So okay. it's more of Burj Khalifa view if you want, if you zoom out a little bit. What sort of prices are we looking at there? Uh, Three million starting from what is available now okay. on this side. On the other side, it's the same. And definitely as you go higher, the Three price increases. Three million for a two bedroom. I have in another beachfront project uh, two bedroom for six million. Yes, exactly, because it's developed. It's right? No, it's not. It's no, the area. Yeah, the, the area is developed. Yeah. Yeah, that's, area that's why we say now whoever is investing in Dubai Maritime City uh, has the golden opportunity. Hundred percent. You know I can't what I mean? Because more. because it's one of the last water facing. Uh, locations if you want yeah. in Dubai. Yeah. There's not many. If you want if you remove Saria now from Dubai Maritime City and you place it in uh, a Mar Beach front or in Dubai Harbor, the price they're going to double. I love how you think I love how you just described that. Yeah. I'm gonna use that because <laughs> if you take this building, put it where Imar Beach front is fact, right? two, two, two bedrooms. Compare it with the let's say W residences, compare it with the Shoba's project in Dubai Harbor, compare it with any other project in these areas. Only because the area is developed, the prices are higher. And the, the people who bought in the first buildings are now 100%. seeing... 100%. They made... I was speaking to somebody who bought... more than 100%. Return. Yeah, I was speaking to somebody who bought a two-bedroom in one of the early buildings, Shoba Hartland one, and he now gets double exactly. what he's paid for it. And, and here, the nice thing as well, in terms of return, like ROI, even if you take the unit that is on the lowest floor facing the amenities, you are still doing a very good ROI. Yeah, Because definitely. you're paying only 2.6 million for a two-bed. Nice. Okay, uh, what else? Now, again, here we have the second level of amenities. Okay, which so is there's very multiple levels of amenities within the building. Yes. I think that's so important because a building with just a nice podium isn't enough anymore. The, co the competition is just 100%, too strong. 100%. Uh, here you have an indoor pool, um, ice bath, sauna, and spa. And this is mainly called the nice. adult store. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and then you go for the third level of amenities, which is on the back side. Okay. On the back side. Yeah. So um, we placed. This is the massive. How big is this? Uh, it's more than 30,000. Gee whiz, yeah. man. Okay, so oh, these units over here will have the view of the amenities. I love amenity views. Like exactly. I, I, I really like like low floors. This is like a hotel. Like you've got a bunch of cabanas, private cabanas with trees, and then there's sort of a catwalk all the way down to the pool. I love Correct. it. Correct. And um, so you have your main pool. Yeah. You have a kids' pool, and you have some places for coffee shops, seating, area. seating areas, uh, kids' play area. Uh, barbecue area so and they will deliver it like as green as it yes. looks here yes. because that's also something that most whatever people show see, but don't do whatever you see in the brochure is going to be delivered okay this okay is for sure. okay i always talk about sort of uh, a render to reality ratio needs to be 90 95 percent I mean, look um if you look at omniat's project in yeah. the past look at uh, sterling fault. for example can't fault them it's exactly the same. Anwar yeah. is exactly the Super same. Super strong design team. I, I love it. So, um, what else yeah. is there? 
So this is for the amenities, and um, on the 37, so, so the building is 38. Have floors. you ever seen the top? Have you seen the top no. before? Okay, <laughs> <laughs> uh, the building is 38 floors. Okay. On 37th floor, you have the four bedrooms. Okay. Four units on the f on the floor. Still available. Simplex, yes. Okay. And uh, on the highest floor, which is 38th floor, you have the uh, simplex plus roof. It's also four bedroom, four okay. bedroom plus maid plus roof. So you don't have bedrooms on the second floor. It's just the roof access, um, and it's customized. Okay. So the client has the option to choose whether they want it with a pool or with a fire pit. That's nice. Yeah. That's nice. So is the the rooftop just accessible? For the, pen, for the, for the owners of the, yes, the owners oh, of at the top. top, so it's not an additional amenity for the people Correct. who live in the building. But we've got amenities spread from. You don't need more here, amenities. Yeah, no, you don't. <laughs> and on that side we as well. You have three floors for the amenities. It doesn't matter where you live, you're close to a amenity with, within the building, which yes. is, like I've said on this channel before, super important. If you don't have at least, you know, more than just a podium level, you're out of the game, honestly. Tell me about the, the payment plan and the, the prices. So, what are we looking at for? Okay, so the starting prices in Saria yeah. uh, were 1.7 million. Were 1.7 million. For the one beds. Okay. We're talking about the units that are on this side. These are premium units in my opinion, honestly, because, again, sorry to interrupt you, but if you look, this is the boulevard, this is greenery. The next building is made, is there even a building on this side? Will be 150. You have internal roads and then you have the... Uh, like 150 meters away from you. It's not, it's not like you're exchanging correct. letters with your neighbor. Exactly. You know what I mean? <laughs> in fact, even these buildings in downtown and Business Bay and in other areas, they have a very high ROI because of the location. 100%. So 100%. here you have an advantage that you are not close to the building that is right in front mm. of you and you have a very nice yeah, view yeah. and on. a very good location. So you are okay. ticking 1. all the boxes. 1.75? 1. 1.7 starting. Okay. 2.6 for the two beds. On the corner. Yeah. Okay. Uh, for the three beds you can say around 4.1, 4.2 million starting. Okay. 1,600 square foot yes. starting. Yes. Okay. Decent and price per value. Exactly. Nice. And the three beds are all facing the water, all in the front Premium, side. premium stuff. Okay. For the payment plan, um, I think we have the best payment plan in, uh, in Dubai when it, comes to, <laughs> when it comes to uh, this category of, the, of developers. Uh, it's a 50-50 payment plan, so you're paying 20% for the down payment. Uh, then every six months you're paying 5%. That is literally the most competitive payment plan for this type of project exactly. in the city right now. So if you do the calculation, you are paying less than 1% per month because it's 10% per year. For waterfront, you don't get that. It's usually 90% exactly. so, uh, upfront. Yeah. <laughs> and the, the, uh, so the other 50% will be paid on the uh, completion Which of the project. Which is good for mortgage buyers as well, 100%. end users, very beneficial. And the handover is in uh, quarter one, 2028. Why didn't you invite me earlier? I did actually, I did. <laughs> <laughs> she did, she did. So okay, we've got buttons. Do the buttons work? I don't think so. No, no, I don't think so. Well. Why don't you tell me? I'm pushing buttons. Uh, the buttons I think you feel work. like playing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, awesome. I think that was great. I mean, the, the position of this building is fantastic, but not only this, what Beyond has shared with me what they're doing in this location going forward, to support investors who've invested in their very first project on this island, I think speaks a lot to the confidence investors should have in this brand and what it's going to build in the future. And that's going to be your clear advantage. Would exactly. you agree? Whenever you're entering the market at the beginning or any other any location uh, at the beginning of the launches, you are like uh, getting a very high return. Uh, once we start delivering, That's good you, you can actually show actual figures. You can you have actual figures that show people who bought in Imar Beachfront, people who bought in the Palm, in Dubai Harbor. Comparable projects. There exactly. are enough out there to exactly. show that. Listen, this exactly. is factual. And at that time, you had other water-facing uh, communities. Now you don't have. Now, if you look at all the um, the islands that are still available, most of them are almost developed. And if they are not, they are being priced for like 7,000, 10,000 dirhams per square per foot. Per square foot, 100 percent. And what I also said on my channel before, and the client reached out, um, Tanvira, I think, he said, 
what you said in one of the videos was, if you think about waterfront real estate anywhere, like in Miami, that's really expensive real estate. It's not any different in Dubai, and it's not any different for projects like these, in my opinion. I think that was a good point that he made. Okay, and apart from all that, when yeah. it comes to Saria and beyond and Omniat's projects, definitely we are talking about one of the best finishing in uh, Dubai, quality finishing. So I'm just trying to tick all the boxes. Yeah. Payment plan, prices, location, views. So I don't think you can get such a package anywhere yeah, else I in think uh, Dubai. Yeah, I think all the boxes ticked here is uh, almost a no-brainer. You've obviously missed out on the initial launch prices, the initial availability. Um, now at this point, you sort of just need to take what is available. Correct. And you'll still make money. Good rental yield, good capital appreciation. But you still have a chance uh, because we are launching more projects in Dubai Maritime City. Here we go. So it's okay. If you missed out on this one, you have other projects uh, to consider. Um, I'll let you know about the okay. updates once we get them. We'll be updated. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you for your time. Thank you so much. Awesome as always. And uh, there's a link in the description of uh, this video. It takes you to my calendar. It gives you a free consultation so that uh, we can take you through opportunities like this and uh, see how we can make your next million in real estate. I'll see you on the next video.